This is Cassell from Creation Cassell. In this video, we will look at how to create punched confetti using a script in PaintShop Pro. The script we're going to be using is called Punch Confetti. You simply start the script with an empty workspace, and here it will prompt you to open the papers from which you want to have your confettis cut. And I have an old kit here. And I'm going to be using this paper and a red and a green one. I want to have a lot of red, green, and white colors. Those are really plain papers. And I was prompted also to reactivate the initial blank image. So I reactivate it and simply run the script again. Here, do I want to continue? Of course. And I can have brightness variation for my confettis, which will give them a bit more realistic look. So I just wait and let the script work. It will cut pieces from the papers at random, picking the paper at random, picking the location of the cut at random, rotating them at random, and placing them in a single image that will be then converted as a tube. It takes a little while to do, but it's all automated, so you don't really have anything to do other than wait and watch. Or you can go get yourself a cup of coffee. When you have all your confettis placed in that image, you can have the option to add a drop shadow. It's a good idea because since they're going to be tubes, they will be all in one single layer when you apply them. So it's going to be hard to add a drop shadow for any confetti that are overlapping each other. So let's have a look. Where are they? Here. So these settings are kind of a good suggestion. You just accept them. And then you'll be prompted to enter a name. All the settings here are set to give the best results. So I can call this one Christmas confetti because that's what they might be used for with those colors. And you click OK. It's now going to be saved in your tube, picture tube. And you can just find it. If I go to Christmas confetti. This is the one. And I could say delete this and simply I have my confetti that I can just drag anywhere. I can change the scale if I want to have larger confetti. That's if I want, I want if I want to reduce the step and have them closer together, it's one possibility too. So you have it. That's one way to create confettis that will perfectly match any paper of a kit that you are creating or the papers from a kit that you purchased and you want to use. Add those confettis around photos, in clusters, as borders, make frames out of them. It's up to you. It is now time to create your own punched confetti with your own papers with this script and PaintShop Pro. Enjoy!